Hi YouTube, um, I just want to respond to a comment which is left on one of my videos earlier today which is just about being able to connect Penis Pro with an iPad application as you can see here um, being able to connect this to your say Logic or GarageBand on a Mac and how you'd use it to send information MIDI information basically, but it's not MIDI, it's a term known as OSC, which is known as Open Sound Control. So I just want to take you through how I'm going to set this up to be able to perform the notes on the computer and then you can have a look at it. So here's the application here, it opens up nicely. I'm just going to zoom out so you can get a better look at what we want to do. Um, so basically the way this works is you go to the this button here which is uh, looks like a wheel so you click that and this is the settings mode now the next thing we want to do is click on where it says MIDI M-I-D-I this button here and if you look here very closely you're given an idea where it says to turn the option on, so obviously you want to turn this on. The next thing we want to do is OSC connectivity. The host IP address is the IP address of this computer itself. Now we want to change the interface to, to network and we want to make sure that this is sent true. So my next video I'm just going to show you on the Macintosh using ScreenFlow exactly what you need to do to set this as an input for GarageBand so I'll head over there now okay um, I just put the iPad down now and I want to show you how to set this up on your Mac so the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to the top right hand corner and click on the magnifying glass now this is a feature in Mac known as Spotlight you need to type in the following audio MIDI setup and um, it'll, it'll generally show up there but if not you can actually get this from applications utilities as you can see there so click on that if nothing shows up or if the wrong window shows up which in this case it says audio devices what you need to do then is click on window click on show MIDI window now it's very important that you have Penis Pro working on your iPad because it needs to be turned on and you need to complete the steps as I said in the previous video because it needs to pick this up as a MIDI server. So what you do then is you double click on where it says network and if it works successfully all you have to do then is just it'll say Stephen O'Connor's iPad which is my iPad but it'll have whatever you've named it yourself you just basically click on this you make sure that it's everything is enabled so actually sorry I said that wrong what you need to do is you need to go and create a new session it'll just be called session one and um, it'll see your iPad here so that's fine you need to make sure it says enabled and then at which stage all you have to do then is just click connect when it's connected a um, message will show up on your iPad saying a network mini device was connected tap OK on the iPad now I'm going to just bring this into GarageBand because it'll tell you now the number of mini inputs has changed which means it does recognize that your device is a mini input all you do then is you, as, long, as soon as you hit a key on the iPad itself, basically what the way it is working, this is a wireless MIDI device now being sent into Grand Piano on the GarageBand. I'm not controlling this using any other MIDI device except my iPad. So that's it simply, um, it's a very very simple uh, thing to set up and 
If you have any problems or any questions, then don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know if you have any problems. Um, this works with all um, MIDI applications, so as long as you create a MIDI input, then you send it to uh, Logic Pro, which I'm using, or any synthesizer at all. So in the case of the user who asked me a question, um, he wanted to know how to set it up with a Moog synthesizer, then again, this will just be an input from Moog. So thanks so much for watching, and please stay tuned for more content. Bye-bye now.